Up next on IJDM, we are unboxing, testing out, and reviewing the Ryobi One Air Whisper Blower thing stuff. Up next. Another visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever. Okay, with all my videos, let's just get into this. This is an unboxing and review. I'm not gonna ramble on about what's on the outside of the box. It comes with tools, it comes with different things. It does not come with a battery. Ugh. 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 I flew there. Oh man, I just destroyed the box. Oh man, how much glue do you put on that? Ah, Ryobi, if you need to save some money, uh, you don't need to put that much glue on your box. <laughs> Good grief. That's a lot. We got a operator's manual and with all IGDM videos, we just throw that off to the side because we don't need it. Let's just get to what it is. Of course, they're really pushing that 40 volt series. I've seen some of their 40 volt stuff and it works great, but I already have the 18 volt in, uh, architecture. Although a 40 volt blower would probably be better than a 18 volt one just because you have more power. And that's the box totally destroyed. We'll throw that on the floor and see what we got. Let's go through the accessories first. First off, we have a little, is that another bird call device? No, it's like a flat blower. And then you have like a little small spigot thing, small port thing, and then you have like the attachment, I guess the main one you put on the end here. And then there's another gimmicky one here. I'm not really sure how to get that off. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure where that will come in, but yeah, we'll find out, won't we? All right, now the reason why I bought this was because I am constantly buying these things. I am not an environmentalist crazy person about recycling everything, but I just think this is the biggest waste on the planet between the metal container, the plastics in it, and then, uh, I don't know, the product inside is probably safe, but who knows, but it's just like, if you shake it or accidentally move it the wrong way, you get that mist that comes out, and I really don't like that when I'm doing my electronics. I know the whole idea is anti-static, but I wanted something that was just reusable, and I figured this would be the, the perfect tool for that. It's meant for inflating air mattresses and things like that, but we are going to use it for dusting. So we're gonna put the battery on there and just see what kind of power it has. Okay, well, how do we test this? Let's put the bag here and go. Yeah, well. I mean, you can see my skin moving around, so there's quite a bit of pressure there. So you'd think when you put this on, you'd get even more pressure. Uh, since it's, it's fine, it's what would we call fine tuning the air. It's putting it through a smaller space. Not really, not even as much as a can of air. I actually feel like there's more coming out this way that this thing probably could use a little more pressure. I don't know if there's a way to do that with the 18 volts at two amps, maybe if I had a four amp battery, but for general dusting, I would say, yeah, this will do the job. I mean, I'm gonna put these way over here as far as I can outside camera. I'm gonna put this off camera here and just see. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, it... <laughs> I did not mean for this to be a joke like that, but uh, I didn't really have anything to dust off, just like the pressure washer video. But if you want to clean a keyboard or anything like that, wow, I feel like one of those late night things trying to sell you on something. I'm not trying to sell you on this. I'm just trying to show you this product and it's actually in action. But uh, watch as I pull out this magic cloth and wipe up the spill in just a matter of seconds. No, uh, <laughs> it's just... Yeah, I mean, this is perfect for what I need. I have a couple of desktop CPUs that run my weather channel. Um, they get very dusty. They're, just collect, they're giant dust collectors. And I have different products that you know, just get dust in them. And this is the perfect tool for me. I mean, I have my air, full-size air compressor, but pulling that out, hooking up the battery, dragging it from one side to the house to the other and doing all that, this is handy, dandy, and easy. I can keep this with my basically all my tools and work stuff that I keep inside and just have it handy whenever I need to clean something out like a keyboard or anything like that. I mean, it's, its uses are pretty much endless as far as that goes. And if you have company come on over, you need an extra air mattress. Well, yeah, you can use this to fill it up. One other thing noticing with it, if you leave it on a little too long, it starts to get a little warm on the upper handle here part. So I wouldn't recommend running this in long, long periods of time, maybe no more than five minutes because I'd worry about it overheating. I haven't had that happen yet, but this tool is definitely one of those things that says what it does, does what it says. Did I reverse that or did I reverse it on my last video? 
However, we are keeping this short and brief and to the point. That in a nutshell is the Ryobi inflator blower thingamajig here on IJDM. Hit that subscribe button, check out our Patreon page, blah, blah, blah. See you next time.